because brains develop in a certain order, that when we um, are trying to help people recover from trauma, that we work with those three parts of the brain in the same order. We rebuild from the ground up. So we start off by doing things that help that young person or child feel safe in their body, in their physical environment, and help them emotionally regulate, help them ground. Things that help, that tend to help are things that are uh, repetitive and rhythmic and part of their routine that engage the five senses and that are supported within the context of a safe relationship. Um, so they have an anchor point to hold on to while they try a different way of navigating those difficult feelings and sensations. Eventually, when you can cope with your distressing experiences and the symptoms of trauma a little better, the next stage is to actually work with the limbic system. This is the place where sensations are experienced and emotions are experienced and our reactions happen um, and very much in concert with the brainstem. Um, so those big feelings can set us off into stress responses. So that's when we really need the emotional regulation skills that we will have mastered in stage one of trauma recovery to help us to start to remember, to help us to start to feel again and be able to cope with the distress that those memories and those feelings bring up. With those skills we can start to really encounter and explore the impact that trauma has had on that young person and um, it's only then after a very painstaking process of sorting through that and it becoming less and less vivid and powerful and overpowering that people can start to use that top bit of the brain again and get it back in the room so that you can start to think about what have you learnt, who are you now, who do you want to be, um, what do you hope for um, and to plan and to think about your relationships with other people. It's really about rebuilding every system in the brain from the ground up. There are a few things that uh, foster parents can do to help um, children um, heal from developmental trauma. Children are very often stuck at a very early um, developmental stage, which means that they are in that kind of what we call it a baby mode. Um, and that is because probably their needs have, were not met at that stage of development. Um, when we think about what carers can do, um, I always encourage them to see a toddler or a baby in their child. And if, for example, um, they show some difficult behaviours, to really think about, well, if a baby was doing that, what is that the baby would need? That maybe they, there are certain things that they're trying to communicate, they just don't have a way of doing it that it's age appropriate. So what I teach foster parents is to always first connect before they correct. So instead of thinking about the behavior and that this is bad, they should not be doing this, to first connect and try to understand so we can use that PACE model to truly get into the child's world and understand the intentions behind their actions, understand what are the emotions, what are the feelings that drive the child's behavior. So that's kind of what the parent can do directly with the child, but there's also everything around it. And that's when we think about the child's environment. And um, what Susanna mentioned before is about providing that sense of safety. And how do we do that? It's simple things like um, making sure that the child has predictable um, daily schedule, that they there are very clear boundaries. The child knows what's expected of them. Um, they know what's allowed, what's not allowed. And within that, the child is going to feel safe. They'll be able to see, oh, okay, I don't have to hold on to my strategies anymore. It's going to take time, but it's all worth it because within that, the child can learn that, you know what, I do not have to stick to my strategies anymore. I can, I can do other things and I can try and I can risk um, connection with other people. I think what can be really, really difficult for foster parents is putting aside those ideas that they've got from their own childhood about what works with parenting and putting aside all of the manualised theoretical approaches to parenting that are designed for birth children who haven't gone through trauma and thinking completely afresh about what children who have come into care, who have experienced really difficult things, what they might need from us in terms of parenting. And this is something that we cover in our training because it is a fundamentally different approach.